The draw is now available for annual pass holders, starting a semi-long quest chain to get the last word hand cannon popular in Destiny 1. I'm just going to go through the steps in order to get it. Nothing is very complex here. For starters, the highest power level you'll need to do this quest is 500. You don't need to be any higher than that. The first step of the quest requires you to kill Hive with solar weapons, kill three Hive bosses, and get 75 Hive tablets, which you'll naturally get from killing Hive with solar weapons. A good spot to do this step is on Mars doing Escalation Protocol. Three levels of EP will get you your boss kills, but you can also get them from the Lost Sector in the northern part of the map. Chances are you'll get your 75 tablets and three boss kills before your solar kills, a run through said Lost Sector will get you about 40-50% to 50 of your solar kills, doesn't take too long. The next step requires you to play PvP. That sound you just heard was the collective groan of the internet as they clicked on Quick Play. You need 100% completion for this quest, a kill will get you 2 points, and a death will subtract 1, so you need better than a 0.5 KDA ratio in order to progress this next part. My best piece of advice would be to just stick with teammates and try to get assists off of said teammates if you're not very good at PvP. Take things slow, you don't need to fight every single battle, only try to fight ones where you know you can win, and playing with friends is also encouraged. The next step will take you to Titan, where you need to do a mission which is essentially just doing a lost sector that is a little bit harder, called the Damnation. All you need to do in here is kill wizards to remove the immunity shield of the main enemy and then kill it to start step four. Step four is a much longer process requiring the completion of four different objectives. The first part is to collect etched crystals from Lost Sector Wanted Escape E bosses. Not every Lost Sector has a wanted target as its boss, so look out for that. You can repeat the same Lost Sector over and over again if you so choose, but you need to do this 15 times for 15 crystals, nothing else to it. My team did the Lost Sector in the Gulch on EDZ, but you can pick whichever one you want, again, assuming it has a wanted target. The second part requires more Crucible. Stay with me. You need to get 25 Best Served Cold and or Blood for Blood medals. Best Served Cold is killing the person who just killed you, and Blood for Blood is earned by killing the person that killed your teammate most recently. As of the making of this video, Mayhem is active in Destiny, but I did not find Mayhem to be particularly useful in gathering those medals, at least as a Titan. I ended up with one medal in two games, switched to Quick Play, and got 22 medals in two games. You just need to be very observant of your surroundings to get these medals. Look to see where teammates are positioned and dying to see where you can take advantage of trying to score a medal. It helps to stay near teammates, but not right on top of them so that you can swoop in to get the kill after they die. You can also just tell your friends to be bait, have them die, and then kill the person who killed them if you're really struggling. This step will probably be the most laborious of all the steps in the quest, assuming you got past the first crucible part. The third part requires 50 hive larvae to be collected. To get a hive larva, you just need to kill hive with precision damage. You won't get a larva every single kill, but a couple of runs through that northern Mars lost sector should get you most of the way done with this step. The final part is something you should be doing while doing all of the other parts at the same time, and that is three heroic witch ritual public event completions. Nothing special about these, just look on your map every so often to check to see if they're spawning in. They can spawn on Titan or Mars, but Titan will likely be the more common one. After you've completed this part, you will go back to the Drifter, and he will give you the final part of the quest, where you need to do a mission in the Tangled Shore. I won't spoil this mission, as it is pretty cool, and I would encourage you to try the mission for yourself before looking for hints, but if you need a hint, and this is the only hint you will need, you wait a few seconds, here we go, spoilers coming up, get ready, and you need to shoot the gun out of the hive's hand in order to progress. It'll be one enemy, and then two, and then three, and you need to shoot them in the order that they spawned, or rather they are going to shoot you in the order that they spawned. 
When you beat that enemy, you will be rewarded with the last word and a follow-up quest with the Drifter who will just give you some dialogue to close out the experience. All in all, this process took about three hours going at a somewhat quick but not lightning pace with the PvP portions of the quest taking me four and a half games in order to complete. The kills and the medals. If you'd like a full review of the weapon, check out Holtzman's video on the...